Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of this uh, Sun Founder Project Super Starter Kit with the Arduino Omega 2560. Um, here's the box that it came in. I got this on Amazon. I'll post the link below uh, if you guys are interested in, in it. I did already open it, so I kind of cheated and I didn't get everything back in the box, but here we go. Uh, here is the project book that it comes with, which is actually kind of nice because it's in color. Um, I haven't gone through this whole project book but uh, it should be interesting this is my first time with an Arduino and that's why I have this kit so I'll be interested in checking this out uh, here is a mini CD um, it says it has the experimental videos reference codes uh, I might not even need that not sure but we'll just put that to the side over here uh, and most importantly here is the actual kit um, a lot of people were upset on Amazon because their kit came in like an envelope and it opened like so and everything got thrown around during the shipping uh, and that's not what you want luckily mine didn't um, so mine came nice uh, and I'll post the link below hopefully yours will come nice also um, so here it is usually this sits right in it uh, but I couldn't fit everything back in so it didn't this is the actual Sun Founder Mega um, 2560 the same as the Arduino, maybe a little bit cheaper parts, but for the kit, it should get its purpose done. You can see the Sun Founder logo right there. Let me see if I can focus on that. Sun Founder logo right there. Um, and it does not have the uh, the gold chip that you might want with your Arduino. Uh, it just has like a normal green chip, but that's fine for me. It seems like a good quality, um, pretty, pretty straightforward and simple. Um, has some of their stuff on there if we could get it to focus yeah, I don't think it's gonna get that but yeah it just says Sun Founder in the brand or the board uh, model so set that aside so first you're gonna have some male to female uh, jumpers uh, next we have this old old uh, USB to hook this up like an old printer USB or something it's nice that they uh, give that to you um, and some male to male jumpers and here we have what looks like some like resistors. I'm not too sure, but um, these look like they're just simple resistors here. Um, I got another little bag with a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, this has looks like a little piezo, like a little sound uh, for making a little alarm or something like that. Um, and then you also have in this bag some some little little uh, buttons to play with and stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. There's a few other things in there. Um, next, I already opened this, but just to make sure everything was in there, this is the LCD screen. Uh, you can see it looks pretty straightforward. They put a little plastic wrapping on it, so so that's really nice. Um, and then on the back, just so you could see it. I don't know if you need to, but just so you could get all of it. All right. Next, we'll just check out this uh, breadboard. They put the dot matrix um, on here, which is kind of just, I guess, to make it easy to ship. But there's your dot matrix. Um, here's something to show like numbers or something like that. Um, and these, I think, are the shift resistors. And then you have your uh, timers right here. And this is a accelerometer. So and I'm not positive, but it's kind of what I got. And you could see the breadboard. It's a full breadboard. Actually, I think it might be a half a breadboard, but kind of nice it's very simple some LEDs they give you with this so just so you could blow these and test things with them um, here's a DC motor that comes with it and then a little fan blade propeller that comes with it and I don't know if this is supposed to fit on here I couldn't imagine this picking anything up it doesn't fit perfect but it does kind of go on there so if you get creative, you could uh, give that a shot. Um, next, I think this here is our trim pot. Um, kind of, kind of smooth. It's a little sticky. Looks like they must have used some something to uh, kind of lubricate it, but pretty straightforward trim pot there. Um, next is our is this our um, a rotary encoder. I'm not sure what to use this with, so we'll get there. Maybe it's in our project book. Um, lastly, this looks like some sort of jumper, and then our resistor map. So that's pretty much it. Everything uh, I might 
put up some videos of me testing some things out just to make sure it works um, and going through their project book but that's pretty much it I'll post the link below of uh, of it from Amazon it's from Sunfounder lab um, so thanks for watching guys